This feature allows the equipment to work as a field strength meter, measuring dB microvolts per meter. To perform this type of measurement, it is needed to enter beforehand the calibration parameters of the antenna being used to receive the signal. We activate this tool by pressing F3 and selecting Field Strength On. Now, in both the spectrum analyzer and measurement modes, the power level measurement will be replaced by the Field Strength measurement. If we press again F3 and select Field Strength, we will see a new option, Configuration, which will lead us to the settings menu for this tool. We will need to inform the antenna calibration K factor value for the frequency we are tuning. We can do this either manually or automatically by uploading a file into the meter with that information. If we want to do it automatically, we will need to download a template from our website which we will use to input the K factor of the antenna for different frequencies. The antenna height for which those calibration factor values are valid and finally, the antenna impedance. In our case, we have input the K-factor calibration data for Promax antenna AM030. Once filled out, this file needs to be uploaded into the meter. In order to do so, we will copy the file to a pen drive and connect it to the meter thanks to the USB 2 mini USB cable provided with the meter. We will then open the Installations Manager by short pressing the Folder button, press F4, Tools, and select Import from USB. We will tick the Antenna Calibration file and press Import. Now, this antenna profile is in our meter, but we need to add it to the installation where we are working. We will open the Installations Manager again, Tick the installation where we want to add the antenna profile and press F2 Manage. Now press F3 Installation and select Add Antenna. Tick the antenna of interest and press F1 OK. Now we can go back to the field strength measurement setting. There in the Type field, we can now choose either to input the K factor manually for the currently tuned frequency or to use the file we just uploaded for the AM030 antenna. In either case, we can select whether we want to use a PIC or RMS detector to carry out the measurement. In the section Cable, we can set up the loss introduced by the cable used to connect the antenna to the meter. Again, this can be input manually or taken from a table. Promax provides the template as well for that table in our website. It is as well interesting to understand that when we choose the antenna type as manual, the antenna impedance value is taken from the preferences menu. Measures tab and input impedance field. However, when we choose the antenna type as one of the profiles loaded, in our case the AM030, the impedance value is taken directly from the impedance field from the file loaded for that antenna. The data logger function is accessible while we work in field strength meter mode. 